Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finance for January 14th, 2018. Uh, not a lot to show you this week, uh, which is kind of uh, to be expected, middle of uh, January. Um, very cold out here, <laughs> but uh, maybe that's the silver lining of uh, not finding too much. I don't uh, freeze to death showing you, know, showing you everything. Uh, but I did find a few neat things. Uh, let me show you what I got. Uh, Ravel model. Love the artwork on the box. Um, you could do a display of just the uh, boxes, I think. Um, this one has the bottle that's been completed inside. It's seen better days. Clean, we'll clean it up a little bit. Uh, the model actually does bring some decent money uh, when it's complete, which I'm not sure if this one is. But it was only six bucks. Uh, the box alone is worth that. Uh, got a piece of ivory. I don't know if it's uh, what kind of ivory. A piece of an elephant tusk, or I don't, not, I don't think it's walrus, but uh, um, interesting. Went to an estate sale, and this was hanging up on the wall. And uh, everybody rushed in, and uh, I saw this up on the wall. I said, "Is a is a tusk for sale?" I said, "Well, uh, yeah." Uh, so I ended up buying the tusk. It wasn't cheap. Uh, it was fifty bucks. Kind of like it for myself, but uh, they actually had it up there with drywall screws. They drilled through it and put drywall screws uh, hanging it up on the wall. Uh, horrible. I mean, uh, to think that, uh, you know, to destroy a piece like that, to, uh, to, dis to display it, you know, they actually had to get a screwdriver and unscrew it, uh, to get it down for me. But, uh, pretty sure it's real, and I think I might try some, uh, uh, like, plastic wood putty, um, maybe try to uh, match up the color a little bit and just anything's better than uh, looking at those holes in it. I'll probably keep that one for myself uh, because it would be very hard to sell. A uh, big lot of uh, military stuff. Uh, Mess 10 from 1943. Uh, that was uh, 10 foot powder that was 5 uh, canteen 15 got it for 10 it's an early uh, World War I model uh, khaki cover um, sold one just a week or two ago got $190 that had to belt that was a uh, that was marine too but it was an early variant uh, lesson to be learned here uh, put your stuff on auction first. Don't do uh, buy it now. Um, it uh, it's a uh, that way. If you're wrong, I didn't realize that one I had. I put it on there for ninety, and uh, end up getting a uh, hundred dollars more for it uh, because it was a uh, rare variant. I didn't realize. Uh, so uh, that's why I like listing stuff at uh, auction first at a price that if I just get one bid um, I'll be happy uh, another canteen cover this is a like Korean Korea uh, Vietnam era it's got the uh, Alice clips as opposed to the uh, belt hanger on the back that was five bucks uh, eight a piece on the um, Mag pouches, 45 magazine pouches, World War One. Move date at 1918. Uh, another pouch. I'm not quite sure what this is. I love the unusual pouches. Um, they can always be something nice. It looks modified. Uh, anybody knows anything? Let me know. Maybe a goggle pouch or something. Nice uh, old pistol belt. Uh, it's got a date there. It's a 42. Uh, that, that was 10 on that. A pair of uh, goggles, 
five bucks, 1974, nothing great. Um, gun cleaning kit pouch, uh, that was uh, seven. This one, I don't know. Take a look at that. Anybody knows anything, let me know. I'm thinking maybe it's a barrel to carry a, a spare barrel. No markings on it other than the U.S. But uh, unusual piece. Let's file on that. A uh, World War One German canteen marked uh, metal fabric um, something 1915. Nice early World War One. Uh, Dancing Monkey, uh, that was 20 on that, and uh, just a cool piece, still got the cork uh, stopper. Uh, 20 on the Monkey, he dances, does a bunch of stuff, uh, I can't get him to work now, I think it needs uh, new batteries, he was just working before I started. Uh, paperweight, Luchals, uh, 4 bucks on that. Well, in Worth Point, these are bringing around 40 bucks or so. The restaurant in uh, New York. Cast iron. Uh, this is called a drafting inkwell. Uh, eight, got it for six. I um, forget what they're bringing, but uh, decent money on there. A uh, couple knives. Really, uh, when I first saw them, they had uh, 40 a piece on them. So really didn't uh, really didn't think too much of them and made in Mexico like the look and all but not and this one's just been beat to death uh, electrical tape around the handle kind of looks Chinese to me but uh, guys say you take 40 for the pair so 20 bucks a piece uh, um, I could do something with that uh, got the uh, pair of tens for fifteen dollars. Didn't realize it. The uh, cigarette tin here was full of stuff, uh, negatives and letters. So I gotta go through here, check out this guy. Is that uh, is that cool or what? Looks like a gangster from the twenties or thirties. So I gotta do a little research into that. The uh, vintage cameras. It was uh, $40 for the three of them. It's a uh, Kodak, Kodak, and a uh, Marvel Flex. Um, people love to get these, decorate with them. Um, probably get uh, get about 40 bucks just for the uh, Marvel there. Uh, a whole stack of letters from World War II. Um, many of the letters are missing, it's just the envelopes, but i uh, got a few of them here. Um, October 45, December 44, i got the sensor mark, uh, five bucks on the stack. Uh, Caterpillar watch fob, uh, marine diesel, kind of cool. Uh, paid 15 for that, but uh, Caterpillar stuff always does well. Uh, three Jaguar emblems. Uh, they were uh, 50 for the three. Um, but they're nice original Jaguar. Um, Got to look those up still. Jewelry find for the week. Not a whole lot to show you. Um, check it out. It's a uh, little fold up. Um, help you with your buttons. It's a uh, tortoiseshell handle. Very well made, five bucks on that. And uh, love the uh, silver necklace. Had 50, I paid 40, but it's extremely well done. Uh, take a look at a little like uh, acorn finials on the, uh, on the sides here. Uh, it is sterling, got a nice weight to it. Uh, it was like a chain link uh, pattern. I uh, believe it's Taxco, but they always mark their stuff, so not sure on this piece, but uh, uh, I think it's a good one. Video camera. Took a chance on this, 20 bucks. 
kind of cool looking in a bulky vintage way. Um, haven't been able to find this exact model. Uh, I'm sure somebody out there would like this to uh, decorate with. Uh, check out the, I think it's ivory, might be bone. There's like, last time I counted, like seven different circles inside of uh, of this thing. It's, if somebody carved that all out by hand, it must have took them forever. Uh, it's got a stand with some elephants and a little, this thing here, not quite sure. Uh, the elephants have broken off, I gotta re-glue those, but uh, the ball alone, I've seen these before, they must have a name. Gotta do a little, uh, little research into that. That wasn't cheap, uh, that was 40 bucks for that. Uh, a few pictures, Grove Hall Hotel, got these for a buck a piece. A kid and he got his cap gun. Love the uh, holster, Lone Ranger holster. Love to have that. And uh, just artistic one, uh, signed Roderick. Couldn't find anything on the name. Kind of odd uh, windows. It must be going up a stairway uh, to be on a diagonal like that. In um, a uh, 1977 Cadillac owner's manual for three bucks. Uh, so there we go. Keep it on a store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing over the next week. So until next time, this will your sales five list. Uh, going to get warm, and we'll talk again soon.